Hello and welcome to another episode of Cooking on the Fry. Today we are going to play the Is It Edible game featuring chicken liver. 50% off chicken liver. I've got almost a buck invested in this meat right here and I'm going to see how quickly I can make it edible if that's possible. Here we go. First thing I'm going to do is crank my front burner to a notch above medium. I want this thing to get hot and get hot fast. Okay, I discovered this handy tripod and I'm going to actually uh, use two hands while I shoot video. Isn't that amazing? So I'm going to cut these up just so they're not unwieldy hunks of liver and I'm using my boning knife but it's good for a lot of things because it's really sharp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these liver pieces up very quickly like this. There we go. There. Okay, that last shot took a little longer to set up than I thought. So I turned my burner down a notch to now it's at straight up medium. And safety first, I'm taking this off and just let it cool down a little bit so I can get some high heat oil in there and get some seasoning on the liver. Here we go. This is my usual favorite Spectrum high heat sunflower oil. This time I'm going to pour it in the pan. Okay, and move it around a little bit with my other hand. Okay, I'm going to, I've used paper towels. I'm soaking a bunch of the extra moisture off of the liver and just trying to get it a little less watery for when I uh, I put it in the pan and thankfully none of the paper towels stayed on the liver. I actually got away with that. Now I'm use, what I'm going to use for seasoning here is this Grillmates uh, Chipotle and Roasted Garlic and the reason why it's got a lot of garlic and onion in it which basically kind of goes with liver. So I'm going to use this as a quick seasoning just to see if I can get some seasoning on this liver. Get a little bit of taste going here and I kind of want to use this up anyway because I don't have a lot of other uses for it at the moment. So here we go. Soak up that garlic and chipotle stuff. Okay. Now into this really hot pan slowly because I want to see what happens when the first ones hit. Okay, good. Yay, here we go, off to the races. Okay, I'm gonna stir them around a little. Starting to brown already, that's okay, we got time. I just want to cook these up to uh, the safe temperature of 165. Brown away, liver. I'm going to dump even more of this chipotle garlic stuff on these things. I really want these seasoned. There we go. Okay, I let them brown for about two or three minutes until they look brown on the bottom and then I flip them over and now I am waiting another Oh, about three minutes, and then I'm going to take the internal temperature of a big piece of liver and just see what it is. Well, it's been three minutes, and these are looking pretty good, but just because this is liver and I'm a little chicken of liver, I'm going to give these another two minutes. There we go. Keep cooking, okay? Meanwhile, I have thoroughly washed and dried my cutting board, so I'll have a place to cut these up when they're done. Okay, it's been another two minutes. Let's take the temperature of a nice big piece of chicken liver. And look at what we got. We have got 170, 170, 180. Wow. Here's a little piece. 
and it is 167. And well, we were shooting for 165. That's what the instructions say. And um, we're basically there. I'm going to pull these and uh, see what we got. This should be interesting. Here we go. Hey, what am I? Chopped liver? Working on it. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's see what we got. There it is. Is it edible? It kind of is. It's interesting. I don't know if I want to have this every day, but I'm hungry now and I'm going to eat some more. It is totally cooked without being dry. And the garlic, onion, and chipotle seasonings actually worked. I can taste them. I can taste the heat. Well, I'm going to wolf a few more of these chicken livers and uh, get to the place I have to be at 7 o'clock. Until next time, it's okay to fail if the meat is on sale. Good luck.